The next stop of the day is in Terlizzi, city of flowers that welcomes us a spectacular Norman tower. Better known as the clock tower, all that remains of a complex defensive system that had its heart in the castle. Majestic is less than 30 meters high and is topped by a bell shrine with a pavilion decorated with maiolica with zodiac symbols in relief and supported by four massive columns. The ancient city, the most intact medieval village in the region, is surrounded by the streets that traces the root of ancient walls and monuments of special architectural and artistic value. How the Church of Saint Joachim and the ancient monastery built in the 18th century for the poor Clare nuns with a Baroque facade and the bell tower embellished with arches, crown busts and vases. The interior is typically Baroque, made even more splendid by a number of gilded stucco. On the main altar, the beautiful representation of the death of Saint Anne to whom originally was dedicated the church, topped with the icon of the Annunciation, probably both made by the same author. underline the importance attached by the city, including city hall art, classical looking, and numerous columns on the first floor seem to hold the upper balcony. We continue our walk along the streets of the city, the squares we admire, the elegance of the beautiful views. To the foot of the beautiful Cathedral of St. Michael, who is one of the most important examples of classicism in Apulia. Four pairs of massive Corinthian columns support the pediment of the central lunette window. Still within the theme of the Corinthian column, the dome decorated coffers and the aisles between the works of particular value and furnishings, all local artists and craftsmen. There are also many examples of civil architecture and town of importance. Among them, the palazzo belonged to the barons de Gemis dating from the 18th century, of which they are to mention the style of the balcony and the decoration of the portal, which is heads intact, the ancient coat of arms. The typical 19th style is rather plain facade of the church of Santa Maria la Nova with adjoining convent. Inside, the church holds, among other things, a beautiful painting of the Virgin and child enthroned with Saints John the Baptist, Francis of Assisi, and prominent pulpit fairing, a painting of Our Lady of the Rosary, and adorned with a magnificent monumental frame that contains the rectangle behind a rare representation of the Battle of Lepanto. Other examples of civil architecture are still, among others, the Palace of Municipal Art Gallery de Napoli. And Palazzo de Pau belong to one of the most prominent and aristocratic families of Terlizzi and characteristics of the bust surmounting the balcony upstairs.
Borgo San Ignazio, the seat of the harmonious church built in the early 18th century, but from the neoclassical facade typical of 1882. The interior houses many works of art, including the main altarpiece and the wooden statues. However, was only completed in the second half of the last century, the Church of the Crucified, which takes its name from the beautiful wooden crucifix, Volpe, kept inside. The facade is very simple. It's flanked by a small bell tower and is enhanced by the tiled terracotta statues of the apostles Peter and Paul, located at the top. Known as the Church of Santa Maria delle Grazie, convent of the Capucine Friars of the 16th century, originally built outside the city, but now completely engulfed in it due to the impressive development of the urban municipality. Continuing our visit, we come to the 7th century Church of the Immaculate Conception, also known as the Purgatory, a church built on the previous rusticated facade and bell tower that combines traits in Neo-Romanesque style and times in the Baroque style. In an exuberant Baroque, rich stucco decorations is also carried out the procedure. Among the items of particular value, the painting of the Adoration of the Shepherd of Giaquinto, the high altar in marble of Neapolitan origin, eight large paintings inspired by the life of the Virgin, and a large canvas with the Trinity of Immacolata between St. Mary Maddalena and Charles Borromeo, and below the souls in purgatory. The artistic and architectural heritage of Tevlizzi is truly endless. Now, we cannot fail to admire the magnificent and complex portal dedicated to Anseramo from Trani and dating from the 13th century. And again, along the pathways that radiate continuously, build more new spectacular panoramic corners. The Church of St. Joseph, originally dedicated to St. Bartholomew, which still holds a statue in gilded wood of the year 1600. Rest of the arch, whose time is depicted the Virgin. The Church of St. Medici, and 800, and the new Gothic lines, small and cozy, inside the house, the much venerated statues of St. Cosmas and Damien. And at last, but not least, the shrine of Our Lady of Sovereto, belonging to the 12th century. The refined Rococo stucco work, the wooden altar, and the votive offerings left a lot of the faithful Sovereto pardoned by the Black Madonna, the patron saint of the city, where there is a Byzantine icon.